lots of blessing. Uh, we'll try to go through the questions quickly. They're, they're really good questions, and I will keep these questions. I will use these questions in the future. You stated earlier that all possibilities God selected by His will, um, with His infinite knowledge. What drives God's will? What is His ultimate purpose of selecting the possibilities that He selects? Is the driving purpose His love for humanity, divine justice, ultimate holiness or righteousness, etc., etc.? Very good question. Uh, this is a question that we do not deal with in Aqidah, because uh, it's, this is, in Aqidah is related to salvation. It is re related to what you have to know in order to be sound in your worship and in your obedience to God. Then there is a whole other dimension of the religion which is about the structure of reality. What is reality in itself? And this often is not part of Aqidah. Aqidah simply lays the foundation in which we can build the palace that will also include that. Okay? But God wills to create creation according to His infinite knowledge. And that infinite knowledge is filled with wisdom and purpose. So the world that He creates, which has in it good and evil, is for a very high purpose. And the creation of the garden and the fire is also for a very high purpose. It's not just an ethical matter that you did wrong, you get slapped. No, it's not. It's something else. It's something in addition to that. Um, we can talk about these things, but when we talk about them, we're talking about what we call haqqa'iq. We're talking about ultimate realities in the structure of reality. And that is not part of Aqidah. The Aqidah is discursive. It pertains to the basic knowledge that we can all agree on. Okay, so we can talk about these things. We can do that for sure. And in fact, some of the questions that are going to come are very similar to this one, so we'll go on to other questions. Okay, is that all right? <coughs>